I think Future of Cities should be um, designed for people so that it has a human scale, able to uh, cross streets in, a, in an easier way, that we would be able to live uh, closer together uh, in the urban developments, that we would see more green and nature in the city. The public spaces should act as a living room and a meeting place for everyone in the city. We need to develop more integrated mobility networks in cities, not least making sure that people can walk and bike uh, to work and school and to where they live. But also we need to make sure that people can actually get the last mile to public transportation. But everyday streets should also be, be designed in a more flexible manner so that hopefully streets can be used differently during the weekdays and during the weekends, possibly even during summer and winter. I really like the question about how the streets will look like because it always feels that in depicting a certain future, you always take the street as the prime example because in the street, everyone and everything comes together. Maybe it won't look that much different from today, but it will be much different because digitalization actually puts a net around us, <clears throat> adds a new layer to the city that only we personally experience through our devices, that is not necessarily seen as a change in the infrastructure, but that fundamentally alters the idea how we move through the city. When we talk about city infrastructure, we no longer talk about streets and buildings. We talk about flows of traffic. We talk about flows of information. Up till now, we kind of went wherever something was we needed. But in the future, the city will sort of move more around us and bring stuff to where we actually are. By 2035, uh, we hope that uh, Singapore would be a smart city uh, and by smart city we hope to be able to harness uh, what we think is advancement in technology, especially digital technology, uh, to enhance the lives of Singaporeans. In 2035, uh, we hope that Singapore will become a car-like society. Uh, although I say it's car light, -like, uh, of course we will still have our cars. But the key to that is in using autonomous technologies. We hope to be able to adapt uh, autonomous vehicles for use in our urban environment for public transportation. Uh, certainly, we also see uh, the use of uh, mobility on demand, shared mobility, uh, as key enablers uh, in uh, urban mobility as well. The transportation of goods will look quite different as well. Uh, certainly, we want to be able to use uh, autonomous vehicles to transfer um, goods uh, between places. Uh, but I think what is perhaps quite exciting is also the use of drones. Um, there is a whole uh, space in the air that we are not uh, using uh, well today. If I put on my uh, imagination hat, I think the streets of the future, uh, you will see a much smoother flow of traffic. Uh, you will see a lot more people cycling, walking alongside that traffic. Uh, you see cars zoom by, but maybe without drivers in them. Uh, the people in the cars will be relaxed, they'll be doing their reading, they'll be catching up on a movie or just having good quality conversations with their families. In the city of the future, we have to think about traffic in a holistic sense, as an organic infrastructure that organizes our everyday lives. What we are talking about here is basically a highly efficient metabolism that keeps the city in motion and facilitates a high quality of life for its inhabitants. Holistic mobility will enhance everyday life and make cities of the future a better place to live.